Kia ora boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. So we're doing the boss one-shot series in Cavalier, and uh, we're going to go with Void. And Void's one that's gotten a lot of attention, a lot of people have been struggling with this guy. He's got backup recovery, he's got arrogance, and he's got Bane. Now Bane and Void is in itself not a very good combination. Uh, but on top of that, it's kind of got this um, double-sided coin of combo party and arrogance. The longer you can keep your combo, the more damage you can do. But at, at, at 10, every 10, um, you basically get a falter. And then, uh, yeah, you'll start missing. And if it happens in the middle of a special, you still miss the rest of that special. And that um, can leave you quite open. So uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky, this fight. Now, this fight is all about management. It's all about managing multiple things, right? Because you've got Bane that you got to uh, make sure that you've got that on Void most of the time. You have the falter, which you got to make sure that you're not hitting um, as that falter goes on, uh, or basically you want to stun, hit, and then wait until the falter wears off. Um, or you like like there where you throw the SP2 so it pushes you away and takes up time uh, from Void. And the other thing as well is obviously you've got Void's passive. So between the passive, between the falter, between the Bane, you can take a lot of damage with this guy. Now, um, I don't know if you watched my other videos, but only recently just got Blade, by the way, which is the reason I, I can start making Blade videos against Void. I've never had this uh, luxury before uh, for a long time. But um, if you do have Blade and you do have like kind of that synergy um, with the villains with Ghost Rider then that's a that's a really really good way because the other cool thing as well is you can regenerate with blade so you can kind of add do a little bit of that bane damage which becomes really really helpful because you do slip up quite a bit against void and sometimes you can just take unavoidable um degen damage particularly when um you know they've just switched the the uh he's just switched the bane onto you but the falter has just gone on, so you've got to wait a couple of seconds and you do take that damage. So the ability to be able to just um, regenerate if you need it makes this fight really, really easy if you do have Blade. Now, I'm not. I'm going to say probably a lot of people will struggle um, or not have Blade um, because he's not really a very common hero to pull, especially in 5-star variety. Um, and for me, I mean, it's taken me like, what, three and a half years to pull him or something. So um, I don't think it's readily available for a lot of people, but if you do have him... Obviously, is a fantastic option, and you would already know about it. You'd already um, use him as probably your first kind of set in your roster. But there are other options if you don't have Blade, right? So um, you've seen me try to do it with Blade and Starkey. Starkey is really, really good for it. Um, I'll tell you what, who's not very good with it. Warlock is not very good against him because uh, he just does too many hits, and neither is Punisher 2099. Colossus is pretty good though. So with Colossus, uh, the tricky thing though is you have you have to try and get to that ten, because you're relying on parry heavy quite a lot, right? Um, oh, the other thing we mentioned with Blade as well is the Danger Sense um, drops some of his abilities, so it won't stop the the backup recovery though. And do be careful of that. As he gets into backup recovery, he's gonna gain he's gonna get power gain. So make sure that as he starts to drop to around fifty. Um, you don't want him to be on two bars of power. You want him to, to have, you know, thrown the first special or maybe the second special and be less than one bar of power, ideally because he's going to ramp up maybe probably a full bar of power um, when he drops below 50. But you can see here Colossus does a lot of damage and uh, it becomes quite easy. You're just managing kind of the Bane and you're managing the 10 hits and the Falter. But because you do so much damage, you only really need two or three sp2s um, and you're away so if you are struggling you don't have blade colossus another really really good option um, so if you are struggling with this guy i hope this help uh, this video helped um, and yeah share it with your team share it with your alliance and as always i'll see you in the next one kaki down no bros and girls